There's one. First fish of the day on the buzz bait. Whew. Fish in the golf course pond, trying to get some top water action going. Oh yeah, good one. And guess which dumbass we got slept in today. I think you guys probably know the answer. Nice fish right here. Oh yeah, solid large mouth. Mm. That's a chunky two and three quarters, almost three. That might be a three actually. That's why you guys gotta use the trailer hook. He swiped at it, hooked him right in the side of the lip right there. Oh man, that hook he was barely hooked. I was looking to get him in. Good start today. Let's get some more. There's another one. Just hooked my last fish about one minute ago. Another one right here. Another solid fish. This is why I like fishing golf course ponds. Been struggling this week a little bit, but anytime you go to the golf course pond, you're not going to be disappointed. Oh man. Nice fish. Alright, this time I got him right where I wanted him. Top of the mouth. Another chunky fish. Just about the same weight as the last one. Almost three pounds. Whew. Love these golf course spawns. Man, next cast after that last fish. Oh, he got off. But man, this is crazy. The amount of action going on. Whew, I need to find some more golf course ponds. Doesn't take as much skill as fishing a uh, bigger lake or a reservoir. But when you want to just go out and have some fun and slam, nothing better than a uh, nice golf course pond. Whoa! Nice hit. <sighs> this is awesome. This is a good fish too. Oh yeah, healthy fish. You guys are fat. Come here, buddy. Whoa. That's a fat fish right here. A little picky. Land it. Come here. Got the trailer hooked. Alright, we're good. Now, jeez. Whew. Man, this guy's a, jeez, this guy's a football. Whew. Hmm, this guy's pretty fat. This is a chunker, guys. I'm about to say this, this fish is about 4 pounds, 10 ounces or so. Take a look. Official weight, 4 pounds, 13 ounces. Pretty close. Man, almost a 5 pounder. What a hog. Whew. All right, we can let this chunker go. Beautiful fish. So right now I'm fishing, it's uh, 6 a.m. And anytime you start fishing in the morning, there's one. Anytime you start fishing in the morning, you always want to cast parallel to the shore. That's another nice one. Because uh, the active fish are going to be close to the shoreline feeding. And those are going to be the easiest ones to catch, like kind of like this guy. Another healthy fish. Jeez, this pond is awesome. Right through the top. Right through the top. I'm going to have some bass thumb when I'm done here, that's for sure. Nice uh, two and three quarters. About another three pounder or so. Let me test my weighing skills again just to see. Uh, I haven't been doing it much. Just out of curiosity. This is... That's going to be a 2 pounds, 14 ounce fish right here. Let's see what we got. Two pounds. Ten ounces. I was close. I was close. 
Whew, nice fish. Anyways, I was saying, you always want to cast close to the shoreline and catch the active fish. And the reason why I'm using a buzz bait today, as opposed to a uh, maybe a different top water like a popper or a spook, is simply because I want to cover as much water as I possibly can. Every cast I'm making, I'm taking a few steps forwards. This way I can present my bait to as many uh, active fish as possible because I'm only fishing here for about two hours. I've been here about half an hour, so i got an hour and a half left. I'm going to see if I can catch any uh, true hogs today. Oh my gosh, he just went, ran up and nailed that bait. Oh gosh. If I had, if I switched to a Senko, I would definitely get that fish, but too lazy to retie. I'm gonna see if I can get to bite the buzz bait. Come here. Oh, that was a hog. Come on now. There he is. There it is. Ah, oh, knew I can get him to come back. These golf course pond bass get hardly any pressure at all, so... Oh, that's a good one. Pretty much any player you throw at them, you'll be able to get them. Alright, uh, smaller than I thought, but I'll take it. Another healthy fish. I'm on the trailer hook. Yeah, I figured I'd get him on the trailer hook because he wasn't really going after it. Whoa! I got him. The bait popped out. Let's see if I can land him to show you guys. Alright, we got him. Alright, we got him, boys. <laughs> Another chunky three pounder. This one's definitely a three. <laughs> Whew. Almost had to pull an Iconelli and jump in. Oh, there. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that was one I need to let him have the hook one second, one more second. Perfect, that would have been perfect for some Jaws music, guys. Oh my gosh, that was sweet. Alright, so I'm, a, uh, I'm making my uh, second run around the pond. I've covered every bit of shoreline on this pond in less than, let's see, it's been exactly 50 minutes. So you guys can see how fast I'm fishing with this buzz bait. Just making a cast, walking while I'm reeling it back in, and then making another one. This is basically the uh, KVD equivalent of uh, bank fishing. Sometimes that's what you gotta do to catch those, uh, to maximize your catches though, especially at a place with uh, little, little, very little pressure. There it is. Nice hit. Taking some drag. He's some feisty fish. I think I got him on the trailer hook too. Oh yeah, he's on the trailer hook. Come here, buddy. Man, what a fighter. Mm. Ooh, yep. Trailer hook gave this guy a little uh eyebrow piercing. That's why you gotta use one. Two of my fish today came on a trailer hook, so without it, wouldn't have nailed this nice uh, two and a half pounder. Man, you, you know there's gotta be a fish next to the only piece of hard, like, like I was saying, hard structure in this entire pond. <laughs> oh, nice fish. That's a big one. Let's see, did I trailer hook him? I think I did. Oh, right. trailer hook this guy. Man. Come here, buddy. Mm. Woo! Hooked him right in the top of the trailer hook. An absolute must. Terminator buzz bait. Go ahead and weigh this guy, why not? This is a solid fish. This got to be actually this guy's this is bigger than 36. It's got to be a 4 pounder right here. Three pounds, 15 ounces. All right, close enough. What a fish. Nice fish.
There we go. Looking right on the drop. Ah. Oh, this is awesome. Rusty, I know you're gonna wanna you're gonna be kicking yourself in the face when you see this video. Alright, I just don't, I don't want this fish to uh, break my line though when I lift him up. That's a fat one. Alright. Please don't take my buzz bait. It's the only one in that color. Alright, let's see what happens. Uh, that's a three and a half. I haven't retied my line in a little while. This is gonna be cutting it. Alright, let's see. Don't lose my bait. Come on. There we go. Mm. Both hooks. He's not going anywhere. Oh, it's not. Yeah, it's a fat fish. Man, these fish are really healthy. I just made my uh, second loop around the pond. I picked up some more fish. And uh, if you guys, I, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but uh, I was picking up fish in different areas every time. But I had already fished those areas uh, in my first loop around. So basically what that means is that uh, active fish are continuously moving up and out of the shallows feeding. That's why something like a buzz bait is a great tool to use when uh, you're trying to cover lots of water and put your bait in front of all those hungry fish. Oh my good lord! Right in front of me. Oh please come back. I definitely set that hook too early, guys. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a bass to hit right in front of me. Oh, oh, there it is. Just switched to a spook. First cast, thought I'd mix it up a little bit. Oh my goodness, no. No. That sucks. Anyways, I was saying, uh, I just switched to a spook. Making a fourth run around the pond. Been uh, exactly two hours. I'm gonna spend another hour here, actually. I'm gonna do a little more of a uh, quieter presentation, see if I can pick up any more fish. Like that hog right there. Oh, it took it. Nice hit. Nice fish. Whew. Mm, they wanted that thing. Nice fish on the spook. That's a money cast. Gotta be a fish on this one. I can feel it. Oh my gosh. Come back here. Come back here. No way. No way. Oh, I knew there was a fish right there. All right, about to call it a day down here at the golf course pond. Fished from uh, about 5.30 until 8 o'clock. Haven't had a bite in the last hour or so. The uh, topwater bite really died down just after that first hour and a half. And I think what it is is I noticed a lot of frog activity when I first got here. And when the guys, oh, there's a fish. Oh, damn it. Anyways, um, especially when uh, the guys on their lawnmowers were coming by, uh, all the frogs would be jumping in the water. So what hap was happening 
was that all the bass were uh, up super shallow, just waiting for frogs to jump in. And when they saw that buzzbait go by their face, they couldn't help but uh, nail it. Anyways, uh, I'll be uh, going on vacation for a week, starting tomorrow. But uh, don't worry, I, I have a couple videos saved up I'm going to upload every few days. This way you guys won't have to go uh, an entire week without any new vids from me. Thanks for watching.